This song has definitely been played in my mom's car. You believe in life after love? Cut it. We are heading back to the 90s today. Ooh, all the way back, that's ancient. And we're gonna see if you recognize some music. Okay. Let's see, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. These were a long time ago. I lived in the 90s for three weeks. That's the extent of my knowledge. I was born in 1998, so obviously I'm not gonna listen to any music past that. I'm not really optimistic about my chances. See, I appreciate 90s culture a ton. I'm just not that familiar with it. I'm gonna do decent. If I don't know it, it's because it's like a rock song or a one hit wonder. There's so many different genres in like the 90s music scene. So I'm interested to see how I do today. I'm excited. This, but I definitely like it. This is a bop. Everything about this screams 90s to me, and I love it. Yeah, it's, it just sounds like every other 90s music. It just sounds like super vibey. Do you know it? I don't know. It's not familiar to me. I don't know that song, but it sounds pretty cool. I don't know. Is it like. Paula Abdul. I don't even know who else to, who else to even say. I'm gonna say it's a Mariah Carey. Something by Mariah Carey. The voice, it just it's, it has to be Mariah Carey. Definitely Mariah Carey. No idea what the title is though. Mariah Carey. Fantasy. So this is called Fantasy. It's by Mariah Carey. Okay, see, like she's come, like somewhat known today still. She just hasn't really made anything new. I love her. Yes. Every song she had. Bop. Bop after bop. Fun fact about Mariah, she sings in a five octave range and she masters the whistle register. She made the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest whistle register in history. Wow. Everyone knows Mariah's whistle notes. Like, and they're like, you know, Ariana Grande is the new Mariah Carey. Like, everyone she compares people who can, like, do whistle notes to Mariah Carey. That's incredible. That doesn't even seem human. She's been around for so long, and she's had so many hits. She's, she's doing well. Snaps to her. She's a crazy good voice. Like, it's unbelievable. Her music isn't really my style, but, I mean, you can't, you can't doubt that, like, her voice is unbelievable. Why don't you kill me? <sighs> okay, see, this would be more on my side of my music. I've heard this song, but I don't know who it is. It's like a like a like a road trip song. It's really good vibes. Like, just imagine like you know going around a mountainside, just like bobbing my head. Do you know this one? No. I don't know the title or artist. I'm a loser. I don't know the. The people that, that do the song. It's Loser by Beck. It is Loser by Beck. So this is called Loser by Beck. Okay, I know who Beck is. I don't listen to any of his music. Loser was the only song I really knew by Beck. But once I started listening to his newer stuff, like it still stands up. His career has been so long. Like he is still doing concerts and tours and everything. And it's one of those things that I have not been a fan, but I definitely can like appreciate his music career. I can't get jiggy to this. Wait. This is very like boy, I would like boy standing on like a beach. Like this music just makes me want to fall asleep. I feel like my mom plays this. It's very relaxing. It's really good with imagery. Do you know it? No. I have no idea. I don't, but I could definitely jam to it. I don't know the title of the artist. Like, I've just heard it before. New Kids on the Block, Bathe in the Sea. This is called Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Garden. I've never heard of Savage Garden, ever. It sounds like a cool name, though. Some band named Savage Garden. That might just have to be my new gamer tag for Xbox. Sometimes I get 
ridiculous. I'll eat up all your crackers and your licorice. Wow, what a beat. <laughs> this song has definitely been played in my mom's car. <laughs> me from getting busy. I'm a freak. I like the girls with the boom. I want Scott busy in a Burger King bathroom. I'm crazy. Allow me to amaze thee. The 90s. Don't face me. I'm still getting in the girl's pants and I even got my own dance. The Humpty Dance is a trance. Do the hump. Do it, baby. <gasps> Yes, okay, I know the song, but I don't know the artist. It's the Humpty Hump. Do you know this one? No. No, I don't. Something like Humpty Hump. This is the Humpty Dance, but I don't know the artist. The Humpty Dance, no idea who the artist is, though. This is the Humpty Dance by Digital Underground. I've never heard of them. Oh, never mind, I wouldn't have got that. Oh, my mom's gonna hurt me today. I think she told me this recently. I've never heard of Digital Underground before, and I've heard this song so many times. I definitely have like a memory of me dancing to this when I was maybe like seven. I have no idea who Digital Underground is. It goes back to like narrative rap, like he's like telling a whole story while rapping, and I don't know, it's cool. Remixing on me? Okay, no, see, I thought I was gonna get it because of the beat. What is this? It is a good song, though. Hey, that was funky. Do you know it? No. No, I don't know it at all. I'm not sure what that song is. The like sample in the beginning sounded familiar, but I actually don't think I know the song. This is called What Would You Do by City High. Ooh, what would you do? I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I haven't heard of these artists. This is good. I need to like listen to them more. This song, along with the accompanying music video, is a motivational anthem for single parents dealing with poverty and especially for single mothers who feel forced into prostitution due to the need to support their children. Well, damn. I didn't get any of that. When I listened to it, I just wasn't really listening to the lyrics. I was just like, oh, this is like a cute pop song. But like, it's good that they're sending a message. So I love it when there's artists who can like actually like make a difference by what they're saying and give people who might not normally have an, like an outlet to express how they're feeling and like empower these women. It's a great happy song, but it's talking about being a prostitute in order for your kids to have food. It's a strange like juxt juxtaposition between the the beat and like the way that it sounds and the actual lyrics and what it's about. This just sounds like country music. And that's a big no-no for me. This guy is not enunciating. I feel like I used to play this on Guitar Hero when I was like nine years old. <laughs> Do I know this song? Oh, this song is really cute, but I don't think I know who this is. That made my heart just a little bit warm and fuzzy. Do you know it? No. I don't. I do not know this song. No. It sounds like a less passionate John Mayer. Crazy About You, don't know the artist. This is called Crash Into Me by Dave Matthews Band. Never heard of him. I've heard of Dave Matthews Band. Like, I can't think of any of their songs, but I'm sure I've heard them before. I've only ever heard of them just because of Parks and Rec, because Andy Dwyer is super into Dave Matthews. <laughs> That's sad that I only connect it in that way. Dave Matthews, man, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I know this song. Wait for it. Maybe I'm too good for you all. Do you believe in life after love? I love her. She is such a legend. Hey. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk out the door. This is inspirational. Talk about something motivational. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I totally forgot about that song. Like, I don't know why, but that song is such a meme that I forget to associate it with the 90s. Do you know it? No, I don't. No, I don't. I have no idea. Love After Love, 
Don't know the artist. Do you believe in love? I don't know who sings it. Believe by Cher. The one and only. This is called Believe by Cher. Cher? What? I really thought that was a male. Wow, she's a deep voice. I just totally assumed that it was a guy singing that. Cher is one of those people that just mystifies me by her presence. Oh my god, that's right. This is by Cher. Oh my god, I love Cher too, damn it. About six years in the making, this song was the result of the painstaking efforts of six songwriters and at least three producers attempting to create a massive hit for Cher. Wow. Six years? That's all too long. It took that many people to make this? It doesn't add up for me. It's a hit, so goal achieved. And she's Cher, so I wouldn't expect any less. Thanks for watching us test our 90s music knowledge on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every day. If you like this episode, then hit that like button. Hey guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for checking out this 90s episode with us today. If you have any suggestions for the next one, let us know in the comments. See ya!